Welcome to the fun side, it's RTGIF edition, and we are super excited because it's the beginning of this weekend and the last day of work for some. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us as shortly we will be switching things all the way up to ensure you get that beginning of the weekend feeling. Oh, yeah, so you heard that right. So keep your eyes glued to your screen because we'll advise you not to miss out on today's show because right, definitely don't forget that you can watch the show via our website which is www.tvcentertainment.tv or on our X platform which is at TVC Connect and not forgetting our Instagram fan page which is at esplash underscore TVC yes um you'll be doing some giveaway there too today right Whew. On the fan page. I saw what people were doing yesterday. What's wrong with you and OJ? Me? Are you messy in this life? No, it's... Five, Aso, seven, eight, uh, uh, I uh, got uh, it uh, right. Uh, OJ. Uh, he's, oh, 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 oh. he's the one that said he's a rapper and he didn't have it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Why boys and girls, you already know what time it is. When you see me on your TV screen, hanging out with this beautiful diva, Aww. my name is J. Mr. Flips, and it's about time for us to have so much fun. Are you ready, baby? Yes, we are ready. So I just thought because we are Mr. and Mrs. Flips, so he's got red here, and I wore red so that, you know, if you're jealous in us already, uh, you can go on and you will die of that jealousy. <laughs> All right, it's fine. By the way, you look like a tall glass of chocolate. Wait, let me take my glasses off. Thank you, love. Like a tall glass of milkshake chocolate. You know? Milkshake. Yeah, milkshake. Thank okay, you. Let's, let's... I love your look too, darling. Oh, thank you. Thank what you, do baby. I look like? <laughs> you look like a bowl of awesomeness. A very I'll take big that. burn. I'll oh. take that. <laughs> Of some deliciousness. <laughs> All right, it's your home girl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It is the jaw in the crown. It's the hostess with the, the message, mostest. baby. It says honey flames, honey money, honey, honey on points, honey rub. Oh. On your course. <laughs> <Cheers. laughs> okay, we've got an exciting CGIS show. <laughs> you know, lined up for you today. First up, we will be bringing you up to speed with our entertainment news, okay? Right, right, right. Ladies and gentlemen, following that, we'll be diving into the wild and crazy world of social media on Socialville, which will be brought to us by me. We will then be joined by our guests for today, after which we will wrap up the show with a very interesting one. You know already that happiness. happiness is free. Yeah, 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 it's Friday, and you yes. know how it is. What are you thankful for? I, I'm thankful for a lot of things. First of all, I'm thankful for life. I'm mm -hmm. thankful that it is my birthday month. Ooh, today's my mom's birthday. It's my Shout birthday month. Shout out, Mrs. Oh, no! Yes, yes, Happy yes. She's Happy a July birthday, baby. Mama. I yes, love you. Sir. Yeah. We are July babies. My yeah. birth month, you see? I'm so <laughs> grateful for the women in my life. High five. You know, especially you, because you know you're blessed. In front, you have a bright future in front of you and behind you. So, like, yeah. Yeah, so we're going on the entertainment news, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, first up on the entertainment news, Marlon Wayans issues warning to rappers. American actor and comedian Marlon Wayans has urged rappers, including Kendrick Lamar, Drake, The Game, and Rick Ross, to end their beef and make peace. This was as a result of the viral video of Rick Ross getting attacked by fans of Drake in Vancouver for playing Kendrick's this song, Not Like Us. Taken to Instagram, Marlon Wayans wrote, and I quote, Dear Hip Hop, it's all fun and games until people start getting hot. Hmm. Remember this, history repeats itself. I knew Tupac, I knew Biggie, I parted with them, hung out with them, saw mm -hmm. them both 20 minutes before they got shot. Violence is real, everyone can be touched. Don't entertain the devil. I love at Champagne Papi. I love at Rich Rock Forever. Love Kendrick Lamar. Love Los Angeles Confidential, The Game. And I say to all my brothers, there's enough for everyone to eat and cold. He added, and I quote, y'all need to do what a real cold world did. Walk away from the blip, blip, with peace, with love, with positivity. Life is short. Even shorter if you spend your energy on breaking each other down instead of building each other up. Hate seeing any of our kings at war. We are too few. Stop. And I say this with love. 
always OG MWN coats. Just so you know, Rick Ross was attacked after his performance at the Ignite Music Festival in Vancouver, Canada. The rapper was reportedly accosted for playing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, a diss directed at Drake to wrap up his performance. The confrontation, which started as a verbal altercation, escalated into a violent one after one of the men punched Rick Ross in the face. Details about the incident remain unclear, but Drake seemingly liked a social media post about the assault on Ross, adding his own subtle, subtle commentary on the situation. If you would recall, Rick Ross expressed support for Kendrick Lamar during his rift with Drake, after which Drake took a swipe at him on the track push-ups. Rick Ross also clapped back at Drake on his own track titled Champagne Moments. The former collaborators turned frenemies also engaged in an online back and forth. <laughs> in that online tussle, Rick Ross alleged Drake has had a BBL and nose job. He also coined the phrase BBL Dreezy. Oh wow! So I would say that it's really making sense because it's all fun and games until somebody gets killed. Yeah. And we forbid that. We pray that that does not even happen mm -hmm. because it started already. People taking sides and people, uh, you know, followers attacking Rick Ross mm -hmm. and all of those. So, yeah, it's good that he's even using Tupac and Biggie as, as an example, example yeah. you know, because uh, look at what happened to them. So uh, you've got a very bright future. You've got talent, you've got everything, and then you engage in this. Yes, we all say it sometimes, in fact, we say it on this show, we say oh, it gives us life in the entertainment industry and all that, but mm. then I think we should do healthy stuff, yeah, yeah but or when people are fighting like that, you don't have to like make it escalate, but then there is no how. You've got gangs at the end of today. Mm -hmm. And we can see it happening in Nigeria. Yeah. You see some somebody make a comment and other fans of other people would come and start, you know, causing issues. So I, I, this is really, really making sense. So when you were reading it, I was like, I, I, I never thought about this. So mm. Really? Yeah, I would always say that, oh, give us the diss tracks, give us the diss tracks. It's all, oh, 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 it makes rappers look good and all that, but yeah, at um, the end of the day. I mean, coming from um, Marlon, who is an OG, he's been there, he's seen it all. I mean, um, you know that thing they say about an adult sitting down somewhere yeah, and seeing stuff and then a kid climbing the tree and not even seeing it. See yeah, the adult is seeing. Um, he's seen it all, he's been there, he's done that. Um, and like he said, he was there 20 minutes before they got shot. So um, he knows what he's saying. I mean, it's all fun and games until it actually happens. And then we've seen that even before the main superstars, we've seen people who have passed away from gun violence in America, in America rap game. It's not been, it's just been a few months, few years. Even recently, this was like last week. Um, I can't remember um, the, the guy's name, Coolio Fulio, one other rapper was shot dead in America. And these are underground guys who are still coming up and not even there yet. So if it can happen to the guys down, you know, it can happen to the guys on top, right there on top. So um, this is a major warning to them. Uh, no, one, no one would have thought that it would have gotten to recross or it would have yeah, become violent. Yeah, I wouldn't even have thought. No I would not would even have thought. thought. It's been fun and games. We've seen um, at BET Awards, they performed the song again. I, I mean, and I, this I song think, has been raking in a lot of money. Yeah, as I yesterday. Yeah, the video is crazy. The video does Yes, drop. you get. <laughs> so I think that the problem actually is with the fans. Sometimes they take things very seriously. And we even see it in the political scene too. No, no, so I, you I, see that you, you don't even know whether some politicians are even dining together. They just want to cause some commotion so that you guys are divided. But then you guys, you take it to heart and then you start fighting so other people. I, I don't think it's just the fans. I also think that the guys in question here, the celebrities also trigger this because why would Drake why would Drake go and like that particular video that had to do with violence of him being assaulted why would Drake like like I like get that? it because every it's it's like everybody is just against Drake at the moment well it's the whole industry versus him he knows what he has done to the industry I don't know what he has done but whatever <laughs> what? whatever he has done <laughs> <laughs> Well, they say he's a soft rapper, but girls like him. Yeah. But guess what? It is even request for me saying that he did a nose job. <laughs> Set BB, him BBL, BBL Drizzy, um, uh, that one off me. I'm yeah. like, why would they beat you? <laughs> the truth is, what's the rap game without beef, right? <laughs> Definitely, there has to be beef, but there has to be lines. You see, we're still saying this, boundaries right? That boundaries that shouldn't be crossed. Yeah. I think people should just understand this in all of the gangsterism. By the way, 
in Nigeria, um, I mean, Portable and uh, Zlatan were fighting. It was Portable that was fighting Zlatan. Because of the video that uh, uh, Now, Portable uh, has come Zlatan. out to say, may God not allow uh, him to go and meet somebody that will not forgive him. To go and so apparently Zlatan has been coming up. <laughs> Something has happened, but Portable is, uh, is apologizing as usual. You Portable think so? Uh, that, that's his apology now. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. All right, day. Ellie DeGeneres address this workplace scandal. American comedian, a television host, Ellen DeGeneres, has responded to the main girl allegations that surrounded our talk show, uh, ultimately uh, leading to its end. During a recent stand-up performance in Santa Rosa, California, the comedian addressed the controversy uh, directly, saying, I am many things, but I am not mean. While defending herself, she acknowledged, I can be demanding impatient and tough I am a strong woman if you would recall Ellen DeGeneres stepped away from her famous talk show in 2022 following accusations from former staffers about a toxic workplace environment she told the audience that the scandal had forced her to confront and break down some of her personal barriers in our recent stand-up appearances Ellen has been more open about the impacts of the controversy during a gig last month she discussed the the toll and the negative publicity took on our self-esteem, admitting that she avoided news coverage, portraying her in a negative light. And I can really understand this. You know, the way we were talking about Ellen DeGeneres, she is actually very generous. So people go on her show and then she gives them a lot of things. Sometimes, you know, I've even watched a particular episode where um, a black man from Africa you know, could not even afford his parents to come to the United States. And she sponsored it. She, she, she even surprised the person, like the person did not know that the parents would, you know, make it there. And she's done a lot, a lot. And then when you now hear about this, like, you know, in the social space, you hear that, you see that this person is generous. And then you see people who are very close to them saying stuff about them, like they don't treat their staff well and all of this. So she had to step away from that, uh, from the show. And now she's coming publicly to say that you know what i am not mean i can be tough i can be many things but i am not mean but do you think that in this life yeah. even if you're very very nice yeah there will be still be one person who just feels like you're not nice because you see j paul i can meet you now you can okay you can run into me this morning and then maybe i've had a very bad morning and mm. then i'm all cranky mm. and you know i don't i don't greet you well and that's mm. the first time you're running into me and you're like ah, well She's just, I mean, she, she's not even fun mm. to be with and all that. And then sometimes maybe I'm just happy and another person runs into me and they're like, oh my God, she's so nice. Ah! And then I'm like, okay. Um, so it's, 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 it's nice that you mentioned that at least one person should be able to stand up and say that uh, he's a good person yeah. or she's a good person. But guess what? Everybody... The staffers, almost 90% of them, have come out to say that this person is not a nice person. And America is such an organized, it's not just America, most of the, the countries in the diaspora, you know, the European they are very organized, especially about um, labor, about treating yeah, I your guess staff it's and well. all. They're very organized, so they take these things very important. Um, that what, is what, what is killing Lizzo what, too. Yes, I was going to come yes, to that. Yes, it's what is killing see, Lizzo right now. What we see in front of the cameras, it can be, it can just be for the camera. I mean, Oprah Winfrey was also very generous on our show. And then she a did lot a lot. Of our yeah. actors have yeah. stuff to say about yeah. her. Um, Lizzo, it affected her. Yeah. She meant, I mean, that that was the reason why. But you can say that about crushed. my girl Wendy Williams. Well, we've not no, heard. No, she shows she, she shows you who she is. We've not heard that. <laughs> and guess what? No, no, none of the staff of Wendy Williams has come out yeah. to say. Even if people even already say that uh, Wendy is a witch, normally I love it. <laughs> we don't pretend in this quarter. So it's best it's best to show us who you are in front of the cameras <laughs> and what? behind the cameras. Somebody like Wendy, she does not even hurt anybody. She just wants to do her thing and go. Yeah. But all these people who are always. Doing nice, nice, nice. Yes, At the yes. end of the day, people still have See, to, to be honest. To know a man is know him inside his house, right? Because you know, a lot of people come out and they are, you know, super yes, nice, they yes, do the best yes. things, they are generous, but inside they are different human beings. That's right. And this is also a point of call to 
even Nigerians, the celebrities, we've seen certain situations. I mean, as at yesterday, there were talks about the way um, DJ Chicken, there's a particular boy that works for him, and he's always um, very physically assaulting him, slapping him, sure hitting that, him. I'm sorry, but I want to say something about DJ Chicken. Yeah. Are you sure that it does not have, like, some condition? He, pro he probably because, does. You know, he he's always does. very restless. Maybe because people might think it's all about, oh, the show, mm -hmm. just, but he's always just very restless. Yeah. He can't even sit down. He can't even... It's, it's... See, there are lots of things that we celebrate in this country, and when we take a closer look at it, it's, it's not supposed it's, to be. Oh, yeah. You know, um, not just DJ Chicken. I mean, there was a video that circulated where the video was slapping no, no, his no, bodyguard. No, no, I did not see the slap. You did not see the slap? Did that was not a slap. slap. I did not see the slap. Okay, I saw the slap. I did not. I saw the slap. I did not. It's not even, you're not, don't, don't touch anybody. Don't touch yeah, anybody yeah, physically. Yeah. But I don't. saw that he was trying to defend the boy. I don't know what you, transpired. I don't know what happened. But I did not see that slap. The clip I saw, I yeah. did not see any slap. So but it was that particular blog that is always giving one very <laughs> sensational, you know, title that, you know, captured it in a very funny way. Yeah. All right, now, <laughs> let's go on this music break and take a breather and we will return. Stay here with us. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back. We're not blowing you away. We're still keeping you close to us. That one, that one, that one. Mm. No anti. I'll try again. You can kill somebody with dry jokes. Like, I don't know, cheesy stuff. Like, well, you laugh but, at them, baby. But, but I love you like that. You're I so cute. You <laughs> I'm shy, I'm shy. <laughs> Let's go ahead with our entertainment news. And next up on the entertainment news, Justin Timberlake's mock shots is now an art piece. American singer and songwriter Justin Timberlake's mock shots is now a work of art in the same town in which he was arrested last month. According to page six, his mugshot image was turned into a limited edition piece that is now featured at the Romani Cramoris Gallery in Sag Harbor, New York. Last month, the singer was booked by the police for allegedly operating his, his vehicle in an intoxicated condition. The Sag Harbor Police Department released the singer's mugshot on June 18th after he was arrested on charges. One count of driving while intoxicated and two citations, one for running a stop sign and one for failure to keep in lane. According to reports, artist Geoffrey Roman brought the art piece set to be available in several colors to the gallery recently, which has attracted non-stop lines and onlookers eager to snap photos of it. My reaction was, oh my god, that's great, it's just gallery. It's just great, gallery owner Ramoni Kramonis told the outlet of, this, of seeing the artwork in our gallery, which plans to carry Timberlake's mugshot pieces, which are reportedly priced at 520 through the rest of the summer. Just so you know, the arresting officer who initiated the traffic stop claimed in the report that Timberlake's eyes were bloodshot and glassy. A strong odor of an alcoholic beverage was emanating from his breath. He was unable to divide attention and he had slowed speech. He was unsteady afoot and he performed poorly on all standardized field sobriety tests. As a result, the Grammy winner was processed at the Sag Harbor Police Headquarters and arraigned at the Sag Harbor Village Justice Court later that morning. He was, however, released on his own recognizance following the hearing. His court date is set for July 26. The same day he will be in Krakow, Poland for his tour. When you first of all said that Justin Timberlake is an artwork, I thought that it was him in Madame Tussa. So I was wondering, and then when he said his mock shot, and I'm like, see what stardom, stardom can do yeah, to you. Yeah. And then it's a mock shot, something that is not even supposed to be celebrated because, <laughs> of course, it is not for something good, a mock shot now. And, uh, you know, I think it is not creative on the part of yeah. the artist. And because he is a star, mm -hmm. you've got a lot of people wanting yeah. this art works. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, shout out to the police department because I mean regardless of the fact that he's a star. No, he's still going to do they did their yeah, job. Do, yes, they know, did their job. Um they looked at him, they said ah! <laughs> yeah, so is it that we're taking a shot at the Nigeria police? Ah, uh, what was it all see your face? Ah David Obama Yeah, because in all the climbs it might just be because, you know, you're a star and then you can just, you know, yeah. pay your way through you, you, or something. You you can't be can, on... can we go ahead. Why is Bob Risky serving 
a time and then. So that's a question. Um, Obi Kubana. <laughs> and uh, Obi, uh, no, the other guy. Um, the other Chief guy, Chief Priest, Priest, Priest rather. Um, see, uh, we're in a country where if... if so they said one pleaded guilty, one said he's innocent. Yes. And if he knew, if he had good lawyers, I learned that if once they can't tell the number on the currency, mm. like they can't do anything to you. So I mm. guess it was not just well informed. Mm. But then, I mean, let's move back to another back crime, to the you, other yeah. crime that we've been talking about. <laughs> like I said, I mean, shout out to them. They did their job. Um, they recognized him. I'm sure they knew who he was. But you cannot be driving and be, yes, and be under yes, the influence. Yes, yes. Anything could happen. Um, lives could be lost, anything at all. And especially with the fact that uh, you are out there, people know you. Yes. I think that uh, people like that will be will want to be more careful. Yes, yes, yes. I understand that it's, first of all, a human being. But because you're just a star that you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a video, I mean, after uh, I mean, he was released based on his uh, recognizance and they know yeah, him, they released yeah, him, yeah. and then he had a show to go for. There was a video that popped up after he, went, he left and he went for the show. And you could see that he was drained. He looked drained. No, he, he you, you, you said everything. You said that he couldn't even give his best because, yes. you know, yes. he has something yes. in his yes. system. So um, at the end of the day, Justin Timberlake is, uh, is, is like everybody's sweetheart. They love him. We love him. Dude, it's so, but... it's so great. <laughs> but then you do this one. <laughs> so at least he has something on his Look his at Jay Paul now. here, just laughing at you like that. Eh? Justin Timberlake. How? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's all we can take on Instagram News. We'll be back with a social view, our social view after this timeout. <laughs> Thank you, my talk. Get out. You know, Jepo cannot behave anytime he's on the show with me. I know. As I said, he kisses me like one million times. So now he's gone away from the kissing, but he comes to see me every time when I'm doing my makeup. When I'm, I say, oh, get Paul, go to your spot. He was still talking to me. What can I say, man? And let me tell you one thing, guys. So I am short sighted. <laughs> <laughs> and so I do not see the teleprompter very well mm -hmm. so many times, you know. So uh, the producers will now say, presenters, please read with Honeypot when Honeypot is reading. So I'm just telling you this. <laughs> this is a secret, but I'm telling you. Everybody will do that thing, except j -Paul. Guess what? <laughs> Producer came downstairs, said, j -Paul, instead of you to be reading with Honeypot, you're busy looking at Honeypot. <laughs> he will not read. So I'll enter that photo like this because he's busy looking at me. No, I was about to call that artist that made a mug shot, the painting for um, Justin Timberlake. They need to do your own artwork. An artwork. Go for be that. <laughs> I, I go to jail or police catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Socialville, the place you can get your daily fix of fun and craziness going on in the world of social media. My tall glass of chocolate. Are you ready? Yes. Let's, let's do this. Do this. <laughs> Okay, first off, they said some of us acted movies that would have won the Oscars, but no cameras to record us, no director. <laughs> this guy, he's fake gone. I'm I telling you. Police and thief. I, ah. And these are artworks. No, no, no. They don't come close to you. They don't come close to you. But did you do this thing? Which one did you do? Daddy and Mommy? No, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Daddy and Mommy usually me. This is another thing. <laughs> Get out. I don't even know the one I did, but I know that I did um, all this to wait and tear and all that. But the ones that were very, like, you're jumping about, I was a lady as a child. Uh -huh. Sassy, I'm telling you. You didn't do uh, Maybe I'll do some shabbat. So I can't tell you when I'm you tired. Had, you had class. <laughs> I, <laughs> Or you were the wife of the thief. Uh, I'll be the madam or something. <laughs> I look for the very, very easy, <laughs> easy roles. No one stress yourself. I'm telling you. Okay, let's check the next one out. Lola says, when you meet your husband, you just know it. And Rose comes back and says, do you know how many times I have known? <laughs> and you did not know come to fruition uh, so I, 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 I on, perhaps this person understands what she's saying like the the first person who mm -hmm. said that when you meet your husband but for people who have been frustrated who have had heartbreaks mm -hmm. I mean it could just they sound like well thank you just there I mean um, shout out to a wise man who once said to me my father he 
said, you will meet a thousand people that you will fall in love with in this world. But the one person that, when you quarrel with, you never think of breaking up with that person. Oh. Uh, it's that person. Right, so. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Is that telling us, are you telling us like a personal story, like something that, uh, you know, you used to drop your quotes now, like when you meet, uh, that's your father's zone, like when you meet no, the one I person. I use the yeah. quotes. So, okay, all right, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait on, sir. Thank you, thank Wait you. Wait on, sir. Thank you. <laughs> all right, next up, they said, this is wicked. And the reply, the, there's, there's a conversation, there's a question here. It says, how did you meet your man or woman? And a reply here says, his bride-to-be hired me to do their week wedding cake. She shared his number to me to send the cost and all. Now, he's my husband. Ha! Let me tell you something I told OJ, I think, some mm. weeks ago, or it wasn't last week, like two weeks ago. I was shocked when I heard that thing. I said it to Dala, and Dala was like, ah. and then I told OJ. So somebody, you know all those people who always consult, um, you know, what do you call them? All those people who read palms, to, so, mm. sayers, yes, thank you so much. And so she said that um, she went, she attended a wedding. Somebody said that she attended a wedding. Mm. And when she went to the soothsayer, the soothsayer told her that, that the groom mm. at that wedding is mm. her, her own husband. Uh -uh. She, she, she could not come to terms with it. And then a year later, she said she ran into this guy and she discovered that they had divorced. And, you know, that was how. You know. Is that not scary? Hey. You attended the wedding. Well, it's what we they said. are telling you that the person that is being hooked to another person is your husband, that be your wife. You see what I just said now. I said you will meet a thousand people you will fall in love hey, with. Me, so. But <laughs> the person that Make when you have problem scary. with, you don't think of breaking up, is the one. Wise man said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> but this one is wicked. This one is wicked. You are supposed to do wedding cake. You can't collect the husband. Ha. Ah. Ah. Let's just move on. The only thing that is in my head is that song. Ah. Mkombe. Mkombe and Bello. Because what? <laughs> okay, let's read this one. If I say, I got fired. Now the boss said, could you write? No smoking in Arabic on this oil tanker. And she replied, sure. Look at what they wrote here. Diesel fuel, 6,000 liters. No smoking in Arabic. <laughs> I, I like you. Shabi is, is in Arabic. So the person I was supposed oh, to that specify put in Arabic. If we're right, in Arabic language. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the last one. It says, my neighbor lost her phone yesterday. Please, how long should I wait before asking her to dash me the charger? <sighs> Reply as the neighbor. This is mean. On your post, reply as You neighbor. are the real mean human. <laughs> Ask portable. I should ask portable. <laughs> portable go on green light of a very dark man. All right. So um, on that note, we are done with social view for today and this week. And we hope you enjoyed every bit of the craziness. We'll be back with our guests, but we'll leave you with this video, brand new video from Portable High Fashion. Hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> joining us this afternoon is a Nigerian singer-songwriter whose indigenous sound borrows from the lost era of Nigerian folk music as well as modern jazz, soul, and pop music with his musical influences from some of the greats. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome to the show, Dotty the Deity. Yes. Let's go! <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> Great! I see that intro. You like how it makes sense. You know, when I even saw your name, <laughs> right. when I was reading your profile and I saw right. your name, I was fascinated. I'm like, okay, let's see what this person has for us. Mm -hmm. Then I read the whole profile and I'm like, oh, my man. Yeah. I think that. <laughs> 
I sincerely think that you're making very good use of the talent God has given you and you have done fantastically well for yourself because, I mean, that right there mm. is a great piece that I read about you. Thank I mean, you. you know, reading mm -hmm. about you and seeing that, you know, uh, you have done so many things because I really wanted to, I, w I wanted to go past, oh, so he was born in Ibadan yeah. and then he lived with his grandmother yeah. in Lagos. Yeah. I said, please take yeah. me to the, this scene. Yeah. So he now took me there and I was seeing the works that you have done, the mm. advertisement, you have, you know, the ones that you have even heard that we did not know that it was you right. who did it. And I'm like, ah, ah. Bring it on. Let's talk about this. Reality I mean, TV show it's star. It's yes, reality TV show star. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about your journey because you said um, you started singing or writing something in your grandfather's at your grandfather's. And I'm like, ah, uh -uh, six. So how did it even start for you? Oh, so I think that's the earliest memory I have. Actually. Okay. I wrote my first song, age six, you know, and I still even remember it, funny enough. You know, it's a beautiful time when you are just a child. You're not thinking so much, but that was a seed you know, of greatness, you know. And here we are today, you know, having all of these songs. I have the biggest wedding song in Nigeria today. Yeah. You know, it's really amazing. It's a beautiful boy like me. I, I, I mean, uh, your portfolio is quite, like you said, it's mm. quite interesting right um the things that you have achieved, the mm -hmm. things that you have done. Right. Behind the scenes as well, not just yeah. in front of mm -hmm. the scenes. Yeah. Um but the question is, I mean a lot of artists they will tell you that how they started was from the church, well, you know. Right. But for you, what was that one point that you just knew that this music is what I'm going to do? Well, I wanted to be able to echo people's life, mm. you know, like regular life, love, and all of that. I wanted to be, because I, I, I loved literature, but I was a science student. You really? know, yeah, yeah. I, I did. I love literature. You know, so, and then I wanted to echo people's um, life you know and those are some of the things that i have captured in my, my new album madame jerry's love is 11 track love songs you know you heard some of them one of which is uh forever sweet or yes. like, well, Martin, you, you know I, I got simi on that you know for great for revamp, I, I, you know? I love simi because you know? you know you said something about singing taking from the past and then taking yeah, it into yeah, the future that, and all a, that yeah. th that's what you said yeah. uh, which i find um totally interesting and so, if you say you have somebody like Simi mm -hmm. uh, on your song, I think I absolutely love you it. You would, you I, would. And the fact that, you, you know, we, I was, um, Olufumi Ransom could say the movie. Right. Uh, the vocals. Yeah, the song, uh, Forever the, Sweet. The, the yeah, song, Forever Sweet, yeah, right there. Yeah. And then there is the Funky Akindele of in one um, movie, too. Um, that's um, Ajoshikpo. Ajoshikpo, yeah, right. Of course. And, um, you know, like, I, yeah, I, I, I saw I a, like, couple of, a couple of them. Yeah, of course. Um, there's also this other film, um, this one by that was on Amazon Prime. Last uh, year. Could it be oh, Breath, um, of Breath, Breath, Breath of Life? Of life. Of fantastic, yeah, fantastic. Course, yeah. So um, let's get right to it. Right. Because, you know, in Nigeria, mm -hmm. I think that we do not still have structure. Right. And when we talk about structure, mm -hmm. uh, you, you go abroad and then you see that so many people have songwriters mm -hmm. uh, and they sing right. the songs that the songwriters have written for right. them and all that. You write songs, yeah, right. you sing too yeah, right. and all that. Right. But sometimes in Nigeria, you just find that people just want to do everything at the same time. Mm. What would you say about this? Is it even healthy at all but, or you should just designate some duties to some people? Um, it's beautiful to see that people will try, you know. But I think that that's why we have an industry. It's an industry that everyone that's supposed to be um, things that you do best. You don't have to do everything. I, as a songwriter, I have written for other people, and you know, and I'm yet to perform a song that someone would write, but I enjoy writing for people. I imagine people and what they are going to sound like if I pen down these words, you know. And those are the things that I think that would, uh, songwriting is becoming a bigger industry. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm excited to be part of that, mm -hmm. you know, of course. You know, and of course, um, I wrote my, my whole album, Madame Darius, I wrote all the songs, you know, yes. and I think that you people should um, check out, check I'll it out, you know, and yeah. listen to Madame Darius. Let, let's, let's talk about some of the laurels that you have mm -hmm. um, to your credit. Mm -hmm. um, in 2018, 2019, um, you were part of, uh, you were the winner of the MTN yeah, yeah, uh, Yellow Star Music yeah, That was 2020. 2020, right. yes. Yeah, so how was that for you, though? Um, it's quite I, interesting that we're yellow today. <laughs> so I wanted to say it, but I did not want to do it on it. I don't look like an endorsement. Quite interesting. <laughs> you know, it was, it was a turnaround point for me. I mean, turning point, that's the yeah. word. It was a turning point for me because it was... 
at this point, I realized because I mean, on the judges we had Omar with me, we had mm -hmm. Banky W, mm -hmm. we had uh, Malik Youssef from um, from the US, you know, mm -hmm. and these people would look at me and say that yeah, there's something special about you, mm -hmm. you know, and it was. That's like the highest level of validation you would need to keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, I just at that point I knew I can't go back. And the fact that they now had the song going on and it was you who now did it yeah, for course. them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Amazing. Very, Amazing. Thank you. very. Also to add, in 2023, I think on um, the Flight Time Music Festival, you opened for Ashake. Yeah, as I well. did. I did. Yeah, so how was that experience for you? Again? I did. Um, well? It still feels like yesterday. <laughs> 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 right, you know, like you just realize, oh wow, that's like yes. cool. yeah. But I mean, it was it was a beautiful experience, you know. Um, it just shows growth and movement, you know, like forward movements, you know. And the fact that this stuff that we do that is not necessarily it's a road less traveled, you know, is folk music is very very non unconventional, especially yeah. in this period. Yes, in you fact, know. it's even the reason I'm like because it's folk music and it's yes. unconventional. Right. Uh, do you think that people because because, yeah, you have your own market, mm -hmm. but the larger society, do you think that uh, they welcome it as such compared to the jollof music they get to consume every now and then? I would say that I am an example of what is possible. So you would say mm -hmm. that yeah. people should just keep up? People, I would say that people are enjoying the music. You wouldn't even, I feel like the music that I put out is the music that you don't know you want it mm -hmm. until you hear it. Every time anyone has listened to Forever Sweet, I mean, you can see it everywhere on social media. I get it. You know, it's, it's really beautiful Maybe a Nigerian see. in me will say that, yes, you're very talented and it is the grace of God. Yeah. And the Nigerian in me will say, hmm, will this, because for some people they will say that, ah, mm -hmm. this person, will he... Mm -hmm. you know? Stand the test of time. Yes. That's, like, l l l the only thing that we'll find out, I'll we'll find out is also time. Yeah, you know? true. So I, I plan to stay here for a long time. Let's reinventing about, myself. Let's talk about yeah. your song. Um, yeah. The song that has everybody talking. Right. Um, Forever, Forever Sweet. Sweet. Yes. Let's talk about that song and how far it has gone. Did you yes, ever see it? When you were writing the song, did you see it going, the, 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 the destination, the limited? The to be honest, I... I, what I would say is, I control what I can, which is make good music. Mm. I can't tell how anyone is going to take it, mm. but I make good music, you know, and every time I make good music, I try my best to put it in the face of people. Madame Dearest, I tr tried to get the features that would enhance the music. We got Reminis, we got Fowl, yeah. we got Simi, we got Chan. Yes. You know, it's just beautiful to see, you know, and all of this, these are ways to make people know. Yeah. that the music is good, you know, and when you hear, of course, you probably never heard Dirty before, but you know Faust. Yeah. And the moment you hear the song, now you know You're Dirty. Like, okay, I know yeah. that the music is good. Yeah. So those are some of the things that we try to do and do well. Before we wrap up quickly, mm. um, your, your new album, Madame, Madame Jerry's out there. One, yes. Please um, sell it to us. Let, let us know how to get this, where to go. Okay. So I'm just going to sing one of my favorite songs yeah. on the... It says, yeah. Hello, Sisi. Ejo, where will we? Olora Kongo, Timo Feba Iso, Oto Jobe. No, you know. Hey! <laughs> Do people say that you have something in common with Brimo sometimes? Oh, well, I get that. I, it's a lot of people that they try to call, you know, but I try to stay myself. <laughs> okay, you know, fantastic. You know. I, I'll call myself um, the new age folk artist. And so well this done. Is, this is I love it. well I love done. It. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming Thank on you. the Thank show, Dr. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, indeed.